Welcome to our tip 43. This is GG Force, and we're going to be making something called a hall plot today. And this is a really cool one. I'm super excited about it. It's an awesome plotting technique. You can see it here. And what a hall plot does is allows us to put regions or areas around clusters in our data. So we're going to be using this cool technique called hall plots. So uh, let's get started here. Um, to get the code for this, what I want you to do is, if you haven't done so already, sign up for the R Tips Weekly. It's a newsletter you get every week to two weeks. You'll get a new R Tip, and um, this one this week, what you'll do is you'll set it up and you'll do a Git pull, and what that'll do is allow you to get access to all of the files. Um, so you'll you'll get all of these different R Tips that we've done previously, and what we're working on is R Tip 43 Hall Plots. You'll click this, open it up. It'll open up this R script over here. Um, if you don't see the outline, just click this button and it'll open the outline so you can follow along. Okay, so once you've got that set up, next what we're going to do is we're going to load in some libraries. So I'm going to do Control Enter here, and that's going to allow us to access the libraries we need. We need ggForce, and what that's going to do is um, it's going to give us access to this geometry called Geom Mark Hall. We'll talk about that later. Um, and then uh, we've got the TidyQuant package. It's going to give us the themes to make this look very professional. And then we've got the Tidyverse library, which is our core 8020 tool set. Next, we're going to be working with the MPG data set. This is one that I quite frequently use, and the art, these are tips, uh, so you get a lot of familiarity with it. Um, it's got the vehicle um, information on miles per gallon MPG, so our target is this highway fuel economy, and, which is measured in miles per gallon. And we have a bunch of different features. We're primarily going to be focused on the displacement, which is a me measure of engine size, and that's measured in volume or liters. And then uh, we also are going to be looking at these number of cylinders. So uh, each vehicle has a certain number of cylinders. Four cylinders is a smaller engine. Eight cylinders is a larger engine. And then you can see in between. Okay, so let's figure out how to make this hull plot. We're going to go through a progression. So if you've never made a hull plot before, what these are good for is they're used to indicate cluster assignment or group assignment. So um, think of it like... Uh, just drawing an area, a region around a grouping. So in this case, we've got cylinder four here. These are all the four cylinder vehicles. We're just drawing an area. And this helps the person that's viewing your visualization to see which members are in this. And you can see that there's five cylinder here. You can see six cylinder here and there's some overlap and then eight cylinders. So it's good for showing kind of where these different regions um, and clusters of data points exist. So to get started, we're going to first make the base plot. And this is just a normal ggplot. We're basically going to take the MPG data set. I'm going to add an additional column, um, which is going to add the cylinder colon four. So I do that with a mutate. And then um, what I'm going to do is set up the base plot. So I'm going to map the displacement and highway. So the displacement column is here and the highway fuel account economy so displacement is going to get mapped to the x-axis and the y-axis is going to be the highway fuel economy and we're going to add a geom point so when i run this control enter uh, i'm going to save it as g1 and this is my base plot so it looks something like this not very exciting but this is what we need in order to get started next we're going to add the cluster assignments using the engine size or the cylinder so the engine size column which is this kind of descriptive column it's a character it says cylinder colon four cylinder colon six depending on the engine size um, and we're going to use the geom mark hall which is a geometry that comes with ggforce and uh, we're going to map the fill the engine size to fill and we're also going to map the engine size to label um, and we're going to give it a concavity, uh, and we'll, we'll play around with this. Um, the one that we're going to settle on is 2.8, and that kind of gives you a region around here um, that isn't too um, concave. If you go down to, say, like 1.0, um, this is going to be very concave, and you're going to see lots of little edges and, and boundaries um, changing all over the place. That gets to be a bit much. And if you do something like, say, 5.0, um, this is going to be uh, not very concave, so it's going to be quite rounded. So we're going to settle, settle around 2.8, and what this does is it kind of gives you a, just a little bit of extra variation, but not overly. Um, 
Okay, so we've got these now. We see, we see how easy it is to make this whole plot uh, to indicate these different clusters in our data. Next, what I want to do is I want to make this look very professional. So I'm going to scroll down here, and in section 1.3, we're adding a theme and formatting. So I'm going to add a geom smooth. What this is going to do is just add a little smoother here. Um, we're going to expand the limits to 50, so it opens it up a little bit. Um, we're going to add theme TQ, um, which gives it a different theme. We're going to add scale the, uh, scale fill TQ, which is from my tidyquant package, uh, and it gives it a little bit more professional colors. Uh, and then we're going to add some labels here, um, which will add uh, kind of the descriptive elements and format the X and Y axis appropriately. So when we do that, whoops, uh, when we do that here, uh, if I run this, control enter, um, our final plot looks like this, where we've got some nice descriptions, fuel economy, mile per gallon trends, by engine size and displacement. Uh, it's a whole plot to indicate clusters and group assignments. Uh, we can see highway fuel economy, MPG, that's what this X, the Y axis is. The engine displacement volume in liters is the X axis. And then we see a caption down here where the engine size has a negative relationship to fuel economy. Cool. So there is how you will make your first a hall plot um, and it's really cool uh, but we can see how powerful ggplot is and if you really want to get into data science you're going to uh, data visualization is going to be a core skill so if you want to learn more i have some options for you i have an r for business analysis it's my 101 course it's the first course in my five course r track and what this does is it teaches you over eight weeks it teaches you all about data science for business and, uh, and specifically, if you're interested in learning ggplot, in week four, we have over four hours just on ggplot. So you're going to learn all about how to do all the themes and, all, and play around with all of the, the limits and the geometries. Uh, and you're going to get very in-depth into ggplot. Uh, that's the first course. And if you really want to go from beginner to expert, I have my five course art track and it's designed to get you from beginner to expert in six months, teaches you shiny, teaches you advanced machine learning, teaches you all of the tools that are in demand by organizations. And it really helps you save them a lot of money. And it also helps you advance your career in the process. All right. Until next time, have fun and we'll see you in another week or two.